Okay, so this video is going to be about gene expression, which comes from Chapter 3 in Anatomy and Physiology. I am making this video per request of some of the students that I tutor. Um, so, gene expression, basically what's happening here is that you want to make a copy of a strand of DNA that is found in the nucleus. This is the nucleus here, and in order to create new proteins, you have to be able to take a copy of the DNA that you have and use it um, in order to make a new protein. So to give like an analogy to kind of help you understand gene expression better, I'm going to give a little scenario. Let's pretend that you want to bake a cake. And so you don't know how to bake a cake, so you go to the library. And here I wrote down library, which is represented by the nucleus. The nucleus is considered the brain of the cell, and at the library, you know, it's full of knowledge and full of books and information, so this is why the nucleus is the library. And so, you go to the library to check out a book about, you know, cooking and recipes and that sort of thing. And so you find a cookbook, and inside it has all sorts of different recipes from, uh, let's say, cakes to lasagnas to vegetables and whatever. So you don't want to check out the entire book because it has miscellaneous information that you do not need. You just want the part that talks about cakes. In the same way, you don't want to take the whole piece of DNA that has miscellaneous information that you do not need. You just want to take out a copy of a, a section of the DNA. So let's talk about this little piece right here, which is the information you need to build a specific protein. But unfortunately, the the book, the cookbook that you found is unable to be checked out of the library. You're not allowed to actually take the physical book outside. So what do you do? You make a photocopy. Now this photocopy is going to be only the particular section that you need. Um, this process of making that photocopy um, is what we call transcription. So transcription is the, another way of saying making a copy. Now the copy itself is called the mRNA strand. So don't get that confused. The process of making the copy is called the transcription, but the copy itself is called the mRNA, which stands for messenger RNA. It's called messenger because it's taking that information on the recipe and delivering it to the ribosome. This purple structure here is the ribosome. Now, in our illustration, the ribosome here is going to be the kitchen because once you leave the library with your copy, you're going to go back home and go to the kitchen, which is where you're going to be baking your cake. So the ribosome is considered the kitchen because ribosomes are what actually make or synthesize proteins in the same way that your oven in your kitchen is what actually bakes and builds your cake. So you're looking at your strand or copy here that you have, and this right, this piece of um, this strand right here is the copy of the DNA that you copied. So this is the mRNA strand that had been transcripted. So on this strand, you see that you have. Ignore the top part here for now. Just look at the bottom part. You see that it has different color coded um, little structures sticking out and different letters here. This, these bottom sections of letters is really the recipe um, for the protein. Now, in order to build a, bake a cake, you know that you need different you did different ingredients like eggs, flour, sugar, and all that stuff. In the same way, to build a protein, you need certain ingredients. And so this recipe here is a code, the G-A-U-C-G-A, -G -A, is a code for what ingredients it needs to build its protein. And... Um, if eggs, flour, sugar, and all that stuff is the ingredients or the building blocks of a cake, then amino acids are the building blocks of proteins. So the ingredients that the ribosome needs to bake this protein are amino acids. Now, where do they get these amino acids from? Well, here we have a little guy called the tRNA, which is called the transfer RNA, and that's useful because what he's going to do is he's going to be scoping out, you know, and go get and going to go get the amino acids that the ribosome needs according to the recipe to bring it to bake the protein. 
So I like to think of this guy as the husband of of the wife who's cooking in the kitchen, and the wife tells him, hey honey, I'm gonna need um, some eggs, some flour and sugar, can you go to the store and go get some for me? So he's like, sure, I'm gonna be a good husband and go do that for you. So he goes, gets the ingredients, or in this case, he goes gets the amino acids that the recipe calls for and transfers them, tRNA, and brings them to the kitchen or the ribosome, and they latch on to the the strand here to complete it, making it a full strand. So we see here that he brings the G, C, and U, which are the certain um, things that they need, and they bind according to um, the code here that they have. So we see here we have G, A, U, C, G, A. There's a certain code or a certain language that they, they speak so that they know um, if, if, the, if the recipe calls for a G, they automatically know that they need a C. If the recipe calls for an A, they know that they need a U. If they need a U, if it calls for a U, they go get an A. So every um, code has a corresponding um, thing that it needs and the transfer RNA goes and gets it and brings it back to make that protein. And so at the end, when it's finally done, you have it come all together like this, um, coming together, here's the copy, and then here's the the rest of it that the transfer, transfer RNA brought, and then you are finished with your gene expression.